What's going on, it's the Rap Nerd, and I'm here today to talk about a new found footage horror film that dropped like a month ago, but I just watched it today called Milk and Cereal. You're probably like, if a movie dropped a month ago, why are you reviewing it now? It's because I gotta shout out Chris Stuckman for using his platform to shine a light on indie horror films. I saw this movie when it first released. I saw a, a, a horror account tweet about it, and I went to click it, but something took me away from it, and I never finished it, and I never returned to it. So Chris shouting it out and doing a review made me remember it, and also say, if he's talking about it, this movie has to be worth watching, and I agree with his sentiment because this film is excellent oh my goodness and the best thing about it is you can watch it right now for free on youtube just type in milk and cereal full movie and it'll pop up you'll be able to tell what it is but a thumbnail so let's get into the film so again it is a found footage film and i love these type of movies even the cheap ones that aren't that well put together they still provide a lot of thrills because that pov format is super effective when it comes to scares whether they're cheap or well crafted and just putting you in the space of the character so i always jump at a new found footage film and this joins that category along with the frogman this year of being an excellent found footage joint literally one of the most disturbing found footage films that i have ever seen the film follows a group of friends who run a channel on youtube and the content is based on them pulling pranks on each other which i think is a great way to make the story work realistically so in the midst of these pranks something goes wrong and it just goes in different directions that i did not see coming and you can imagine what goes with that you know horror pranks going wrong there are a lot of things that you're probably thinking about, but holy moly, this one didn't just blew my expectations out the water. And like I said, I was disturbed as hell watching this film. By the middle of the movie, I found myself just looking at the, the screen like making that disgusting face because of how disturbing this thing was. So to start, the film is written very, very well. I think the first component of that is the choice of making these friends run a YouTube channel with Frank. So that already makes the film more realistic and it also brings a reason as to why a camera would always be around. You know, a lot of found footage movies struggle with that. Like you, you'll watch somebody in the woods and you hear a bump in the night and they'll pull the camera out instantly. And you're like, who would do that? Why would you need a camera if something bad like this is happening to you? But in this film, with everybody always pulling pranks on each other, no character is thrown off by the camera being around, and the camera being out is pretty normal. So that does a lot of the hard work for the story on its own, and it was just a brilliant choice to make. And then there are really, really good lines written for certain characters. Like one that stuck out to me was, life is unfair, and you're just unlucky. Like that is, oh my God, that's a crazy line. There are so many lines in here that are just quotables that you can spit fire back as just being so well written. The dialogue in this film is great and it goes along with the performance as well. The lead actor in this film, don't want to say his name. I just want you to go in this movie not knowing much of what I said, so I'm going to leave his name out. His character name, that is. He did such an incredible job here and it's really two main leads in the film who both just crushed this and make every single thing believable. All of the horror aspects, all of the craziness, the insanity that goes on. This is outstanding acting in a found footage film and they sold it and made the movie what it was. So I gotta get them kudos. And another aspect that I really like is the score here. It is just so eerie and it, oh, it just creeps me out because it's not your typical score with beats to music and heart pumping type things it just almost sounds like some type of machine is on wherever the scene is and you're kind of like what is that and it fades in and out when shit gets dark or shit gets weird it just plays subtly in the background to add a sense of unease that really got under my skin a lot and the last thing i can say about the horror aspects this movie's violent and it's depicted in a way that just feels too real and that's part of the reason why i said it was so disturbing the viewpoints being used the angles like it just feels like something you should not be watching and for a film like this that's the best way to shoot it 
like the way it's shot compared to the special effects, it, it just really gave me goosebumps to watch it because of how terrifying a lot of these moments are in this movie. And I know it sounds like I'm being extremely vague because I am. I want you to go into this thing head first. Just click it and watch it. And I feel like if you're a fan of found footage films, you will enjoy this. And I feel like if you aren't even a fan of found footage and just a fan of horror, you will also enjoy this. I think this movie is really, really damn good and worth the watch as a horror fan. So if you've seen Milk and Cereal, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you. And until next time. Peace. Rap nerd productions, no capping, that's word to mommy. Instead of banking on it, no rapping is just a hobby.